one of the things uh, about uploading a lot of YouTube videos uh, that takes a lot of time is actually writing the description, coming up with the name and uploading it. So uh, I'm gonna um, automate that process today using Zapier and some other AI tools and uh, streamline that process. Okay, so let's start out in uh, Zapier. Uh, we're gonna do a trigger from a Google Drive. And we're gonna choose new file in folder. So this is gonna be the folder where we upload the video later. Let's choose, uh, so I just created a YouTube uh, videos folder. Here we go. So uh, the way we're going to write the description is that, and everything, we're going to transcribe this video with uh, Whisper. And the thing with Whisper is that uh, they are quite picky with the file size. So you can upload videos that uh, they uh, have a very low maximum uh, size. So um, we're going to choose a conversion step here with uh, Cloud Convert. Uh, Cloud Convert is for free up to 30 conversions a day. So you can use it as long as you don't use more than that. And we're going to choose convert a file. And let's choose the file we uploaded in the drive. Uh, we're going to do output format should be MP3. And input format will be MP4. since we're uploading a video. File name, uh, just, I don't know, the title of the, um, the video that we uploaded. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so uh, now comes a little bit of settings here that, oh, that we need to uh, change in order to change the size of the file. We can uh, just convert it into an MP3, but, um, I think it's better to uh, also compress the mp3 file. So we're now going from like, I don't know, uh, a few gigabytes to a few megabytes. And uh, I don't know much about audio settings, uh, but here's a perfect example of where I don't want to spend time learning about it either. And uh, we can just uh, go into here, we can grab a print screen of this. Uh, we'll let ChatGPT know we uploaded a video with Zapier uh, box. All right, and then we'll show this print screen. Uh, just send that in there. And this is actually, I'm going to make a separate video about just working in this way, where you kind of um, work alongside AI and become AI's eyes and just go back and forth with print screens like this. Uh, you can basically pull off just about anything. Um, as you'll see here, uh, just write the number I should write in each. Nothing more. It is, but I'm just want. I just wanted to write it really quickly and simply. Here we go. All right, so going back and forth a little bit. Here we have the actual things that we should write. We should have zero, one twenty eight, uh, volume one, channels one, uh, sample rate should be twenty two thousand fifty. All right, volume one, and that should be it. We can test the step. All right, so now we have a compressed MP3 file from that MP4 file. Uh, let's go to the next step, which will be whisper.
and we'll choose uh, create transcription and for file we'll do the task completion file that we got from uh, cloud convert we don't need a prompt I think uh, and all my videos are in English so we'll just simply do English All right, we'll test that step. And meanwhile, that is running, we'll do... So for this one, I'll use uh, Anthropic. I have actu actually never used it with um, uh, Zapier before, but I just got it the, a few days ago and I just love the results so much more than ChatGPT. So I think I'm gonna move over to Anthropic as long as GPT-5 is not around. Um, and this will be the same, pretty much the same process with the conversation step in GPT. So we'll just use uh, Anthropic for this one. Send a message, choose the account. All right, choose the account. Um, action, I guess, and then um, we'll have the output from the transcript in Whisper. Um, more, let's write the prompt. Uh, uh, I think the description is uh, the thing that takes the most time to write every time. So, um, write a uh, Uh, write the description for this YouTube video. Uh, use uh, mention all that is in it in a step by step process and a little intro in the beginning. Um, Use relevant hashtags in the end. And I think uh, we're gonna work with uh, specific UTM tags for each video. So uh, we know which uh, videos are driving the most traffic to, for example, our website and stuff like this. But uh, this will be the first prompt that we'll do and then we'll add the whoosh, the transcript uh, do we need a system prompt no i don't think so do we need a memory key yeah because we're gonna write the title so we need um let's do that one so anything unique to this video, you can use as a memory key. We'll use the specific video. Um, great. Uh, and memory keys just uh, string together the conversation so you can continue the conversation uh, later on. So the next message we might write, uh, okay, write the title for this one as well. So um, test step. Then we'll move over to YouTube. I guess that one works. So uh, YouTube, ah, here we go. And choose video upload. Already chose my account. Let's do uh, well, here we go. We will need a title to actually upload it, but let's just write, or let's do, let's do this. Okay, uh, write a clickable title to this YouTube video, answer only with the title, so we don't have anything else there, uh, nothing more. Uh, the title should be no fuss and straight to the point. I think <laughs> All the AI tools uh, write two fluffy descriptions about everything. So that's why I put that one in there. Okay, and then we'll have the content from the transcript again. Uh, and we'll do 
Actually, we don't need a memory key then. Yeah, it's just gonna be. Let's do. Um, no, let's use the memory key and don't refer the um, transcript. Let's see how that works. And the memory key was the name of the video that we uploaded. Okay, let's go. And we'll test the step. And here we'll choose description. I guess that step was ready. So let's go to completion. Do, 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 do. Response text. Oh, it actually responded with the title as well. And now that step is ready, so we can put in the title. Great. And the video should be the original video that we uploaded into Drive. So the file. Notify subscription, uh, subscribers and Actually, I would like to do this as a draft, but yeah, so we'll do, uh, it should be private. Yes, good. Oh, all right, and uh, we'll test this step now. So good to know when I tried to test this step uh, here, uh, it output this um, Zapier standard uh, output and uh, I weren't able to test it um, successfully here but when I published it and I uploaded a um, file into that folder um, I followed all the steps and it uh, worked just fine. So if we go over here, you'll see the video was uploaded to private. Um, I'll add uh, automation with Canva and uh, to upload a uh, thumbnail as well later. Uh, but here is the result. As you can see, you have the title here and here you have the description. And I'm gonna format this description and the prompt uh, to make a better description uh, as well. But this was just to show the process of automating this because that is something that I've noticed that it takes a lot of uh, annoying time to actually upload a video, write a description, which I do with AI most of it anyways. So uh, just to be able to upload something in a file and then have it uh, uploaded on YouTube will really help to get going with uploading videos again. All right, so that was it for today. And uh, subscribe if you want to. Otherwise, um, see ya. Bye-bye.